Hi there, and welcome to an exciting Mendix 9.2 What's New video. Recently, we've launched Mendix 9, full of new features and improvements that will bring your app development to the next level. In this What's New video, you will learn everything that you need to know about DataGrid 2, Git support improvements, and a new starter app for your marketing email requests. So let's get started. The long-awaited successor to the DataGrid has finally arrived. Introducing DataGrid 2. It comes with many powerful new features and settings like support for widgets, row and cell coloring, responsive layouts, accessibility, and different paging options like virtual scrolling. DataGrid 2 is a widget packed full of features and options for you to create great user experience. Like user personalization, DataGrid 2 offers support so that users can show, hide, and reorder columns, creating their own personalized views, which can be saved and reloaded for next use. Last but not least, DataGrid 2 is released as a fully pluggable widget with APIs ready for you to use either to build your own version or to extend with a third party library. We can't wait to see what you will make with DataGrid 2. This month, we introduce a new starting point that allows you to build a simple yet powerful approval app in five minutes. A fully functional workflow ready to use, easy to extend. Solving your everyday business challenges was never easier. All you need to do is define your approval request form using the new easy to use form builder. This is the form your users will use to submit a new request. Based on your input, we will generate your approval app in no time, including the form, the approval workflow and out of the box workflow capabilities and insightful dashboard pages. You can use the app straight away or fine tune it to cover additional needs. We published a new starter app for your marketing email request. Your campaign marketing team can create an email request to be distributed to specific audience segments. There are three user roles in this app, requester, approver, and implementer. The requester can select relevant audience segments, add targeted send date, email subject, body, and attachments. The approver evaluates the content of the email and decides if it's ready to be sent out. The implementer schedules the email and sends it to the audience on the targeted send date. It's very simple. You can go to create an app and try out our new starter app. Studio Pro 9 supports the use of Git repositories, for example, to collaborate on GitHub or to work with your on-prem Azure DevOps server. This release improves Git support further by making it possible to revert the changes made in specific commits. Second, Studio Pro now lets you save your credentials across sessions. No need to input your personal access token again after restarting Studio Pro. Finally, it is now possible to upload a new app to a repository that already contains a few files, for example, README. Mendix is a development platform that supports many different languages and localizations. With Studio Pro 9.3, we have extended this support to include 11 more languages, including Amharic, Armenian, Dari, Farsi, Mongolian, Nepali, Pashto, Somali, Swahili, Tagalog, and Urdu. Please see the release notes for the exhaustive list. Studio Pro 9 has been redesigned from the ground up, and with this release, we have reintroduced full screen support. Switch between normal mode, full screen mode, and distraction free mode at your pleasure, and with your keyboard shortcuts. Hi, with Mendix 9, we introduced the task queue to allow you to asynchronously run microflows or Java actions in a distributed manner. This feature enables you to build high performing stateless apps without thinking about synchronization and task management. Getting started with the task queue is simple to do. After adding a new task queue in Studio Pro, you can indicate on a call microflow activity that the microflow should be executed in the background. In this example, a set of files is generated in the background. You can keep working while the files are being generated. And since the work is divided across runtime instances, you get your results quickly. Finally, you can download the task queue helpers module, which contains some pre-made monitoring dashboards for the task queue to quickly get started. We have already come to an end of this What's New video. If you want to learn more about this release, then don't forget to check out the live release deep dive that is scheduled on June 8th on mendix.com slash live. Be sure to also check out community.mendix.com for the latest news on the releases, the new features, and the community updates. And visit docs.mendix.com for the release notes, which include more information about the features, the improvements, and the fixes. Thank you so much for watching, and see you at the next What's New video.